I hope you got that question correct. The, the right answer was it was an even function because if you go to Desmos, you know, and it was something like X squared plus three or something, right? So let's say we graph Y equals X squared plus three, okay? You can see hopefully that uh, like this side of the graph has a matching part to it on this side of the y-axis so you could reflect this guy right over the y-axis and it would land this part would land right on top of that part and this part over here would land right on top of this part so that makes it an even function okay so that was the right answer to my question at five minutes and 20 seconds i hope you got that uh so let's see on number four this function has point symmetry Okay, so if you put a point right here and you rotated the figure 180 degrees around that point, the stuff in the first quadrant up there would land right down here in that, that stuff right there, the second and third quadrant. And the stuff in the second and third quadrant would land right up there on top of that stuff in the first quadrant. So that's why it's point symmetry. There's not line symmetry. It's not odd because if it was odd, it would have to have point symmetry around the origin okay around the origin which means the point that you would rotate about would be at zero zero which is not happening it's that point right up there at zero two it's not even because it's not symmetric about the y-axis all right so point symmetry list the x values for the following minimums minimums are where the graph reaches a low spot Okay, now it's not the lowest spot overall, so I probably should have had the word uh, relative or local. Okay, so sometimes books call them local, but I think our book called them relative minimums because relatively speaking, it's a low spot in this area of the graph. It's not the lowest spot because here's a lower spot over here. Here's a lower spot over here, right? So these are the two minimums. So what are the X values? One's at negative two. The other one looks like it's at five maybe so i'm going to put negative two and five if you disagree with my five you know you, you could put i don't know 5.5 or 4.5 it's hard to tell exactly where it is that's the x component right the x components at five the x components at negative two right because it says list the x values for the minimum what's the max where's the max at well there's two of them there's one up here at negative five and there is a max right here. It looks like to me at one. All right. Hope I'm making that clear on number five. Here comes number six. Describe the end behavior. The end behavior is, is you know, these arrows right, right here. Okay. So let me highlight the arrows going down, going up. Okay. So as X goes to the left, as X goes this way, where is the Y going? Down to negative infinity. Okay, as X goes to the right, as X goes to the right, where's the function? It's going up toward positive infinity, okay? Boy, I hope I'm making that clear. Thanks for watching my video.